we're going to the Bahamas. We literally nearly missed our flight. We're going for one day for a day trip and I put in the wrong address when the Uber brought us. So we were on time, which I never am. We are on time and then no one was there. And I was like, where are we? And we were like a seven minute drive away and a 46 minute walk it would have been. Um, we had to get an Uber, so I had to get Wi-Fi. Like I was crying, I was crying, crying. But we're here, we're checked in and we're about to go to the Bahamas. I'm literally so excited. I can't wait, I can't even go. Like I'm literally gonna die. It's a very small thing. <laughs> Isn't it? See us never. <laughs> Thank you. So basically the reason we had to land here was because we had to clear customs. So basically you have to go in, give your little form, you land in St Andrews it's called, and then we took another 45 minute flight then to Staniel Quay. And you have to do it on the way back as well, so just bear that in mind. It takes about probably two hours altogether then to get there because you're getting two separate flights. We're just at Thunderball Grotto, which is where one of the James Bonds was filmed. Look at the water, it's just like... This is the look. Oh, I can't get back. Oh my god, that looks really bad. It's like a box slip job, doesn't it? Ooh, give me that. What's that? What's that? Oh, yeah, it's good. Where'd you find that? Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. We're about to go into the cave. Oh, my God. I'm going to get back to They love that, don't they? <laughs> don't jump. Huh? Don't jump down. Yeah, there's carrots. Tano's over there in the boat. <laughs> Away from the madness. Tano is not bad. born like four days ago, three days ago. Oh my god. I did. I've never seen I such small them. pigs in my life. Oh my god. See you later, Ollie. 
Going to the bathroom and then I'm gonna get in with the sharks. <laughs> Have I lost my mind? Probably. Um, but they're only nurse sharks, so they don't actually. Well, they can bite, but they don't. So pray for me. Um, I think two people got bit before I was looking up. Actually, I probably shouldn't have. But um, you just have to be careful not put your fingers near them. Just pet them on top and just respect them. Obviously, they can like animals are unpredictable. They can always do something, but if you treat them respect and care then they will too basically but yeah i'm gonna go to bed now and then go in it's just the walk back from the toilet just loads of little stuff dangling i don't really know what they mean around but loads of random shit dangling out of the trees it's so cute though look at that imagine like living here i'd actually be happy all of the time <laughs> Is that iguana key? Huh? I think it's called. I'm vlogging. <laughs> and this island only has iguanas on it. Isn't that fucking crazy? Very like? quick. Are they iguanas? Yeah. Yeah, but they won't attack you guys anyway. They won't, no. We just swam with the sharks at Compass. What was it called? Compass the Key? Compass the Key, yeah. As well, before that. But um, Dana got in and got a picture, didn't swim with them. You didn't swim either. Yes, I did. Swim? Yeah, I did swim. Dude, it's pro Evans as well. Don't mind, Danny, just shut up. I'll swim. You didn't actually swim. Yeah, I did swim. We yeah. are. Yeah. There's folk having it. I'm going to insert the picture there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go into the iguana. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's right. That's right. oh my god. Hey friends. Oh my god, they look like little alligators nearly. Look at that one, it's literally fuck. Oh, and look at the water, by the way. I can't talk about it enough, it's fucking unreal. Come here, please. Look at your eyes on. Yeah. Wanna stare off? Mom? Oh my god, hey. <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> there is one sitting there. They're literally everywhere. The more you look, the more you find them. One over there too. One in the bush over there. They're literally just spread out everywhere. Hello. Hello. They don't really get oh. Since they don't get scared. He's so cute. Oh, there's a new sail, eh? Wow. I'm going to wear some time. I'm going to wear some time. Well, I'll just tell you. Eh? 
on them. I love this one. For every day that you wake, be unbelievably grateful. Somewhere there is someone else who will not. Then there's another one. Worrying is stupid. It's like walking around with an umbrella waiting for it to rain. And this one I've actually never heard before. This is you can't plan the storm to stop trying. What you can do is calm yourself. The storm will pass. So nice. called Staniel K Adventures or sorry Staniel Key it's spelled like K that was like C-A-Y and um, I'll probably link it in the description box below it's obviously not like a gift or anything I paid myself 
but they just were so so good from beginning to end everything was just perfect so a couple months ago when we were booking our holiday i was like what can we do while we're in miami and i don't know how i came across it but i was like oh my god we can do a day trip to the bahamas it's really close when are we kind of going to be on this side of the world again to be able to do something like that so i was looking it up um, and the main price i found per person was i think it was like seven seven ninety um dollars so which is like I'm not sure what the exchange rate is at the moment, maybe like 720 euro each. Um, but then the company we went to it basically they were all booked out by the time we got around to booking it. So the last company that was available is more expensive, it was 879, I think, or somewhere in that region it was 900 dollars basically each, and um, which is 1800 dollars for the two of us. That is expensive, okay? I know it's expensive, I know a lot of people think that's absolutely ridiculous, but you get your two flights, um, obviously they need to make it worth it for themselves, the planes are so small, can't fit many people, the way back is only four people on it, including us, so it has to be worth it that way for them. Um, you get your lunch on the day, you get a cocktail at the end of the day, and obviously you get your tour guide. It was just me and Dano on our boat, so it was literally like a private tour. Um, I don't know if that's always the case. I've seen other tour boats, they had more people, so I don't know if that's the company I went with. Maybe ask them if that's what we want. Um, so yeah, it was expensive. It was 1,800 for the two of us, dollars, probably like 1,650 euro. The way I see it is, it was, first of all, I, I think it's priceless what we've done yesterday. It was literally the most amazing experience I've probably ever done in my whole life. Like, it was just... From start to finish, I was just beaming. It was just so, so good. And um, so I think something like that is just so priceless. And for me, like I spend so much money on like clothes and like I might buy something designer every so often. I'm like, if that means, if I do this and it means I can't buy something for a while, so be it. Do you know the kind of way? It was just the best. It was, it was just the best thing ever. I 100% recommend it. Uh, if someone asked me, is it worth it? A lot of people said it isn't. For me, it was 100% worth it. It was just best you see things that you're never going to see anywhere else in the world like you're able to do things you won't be able to do anywhere else in the world and it was just so so good i just can't stop like gushing about how good it was it was just amazing so if you're in miami i definitely recommend yes it is expensive but i think it's worth it i don't you'll be disappointed i think if you have to save up a little bit more or you have to get part of it as a birthday or christmas present or something even like money towards it it's just one of them things that money you can't even buy that you can't put a price on and i think the price of it was fair for what it was one thing i will say is we only got lunch it would have been nice to get like actually we got snacks on the boat as well the line. so we had like a basket full of snacks and like crisp and stuff so maybe like maybe some food before we got on the plane as well would have been nice now we were fine we were hungry by the time we got home obviously but food with the cocktail would have been nice as well to be included other than that like 100 percent worth it it was so so good and if you get a chance to do it definitely do my favorite thing was the pigs um, I didn't get many video clips of that that were sideways. I took them on the phone and most of them were like that for you know, obviously stories and reels and stuff. Um, so there wasn't many clips of that. We'll go onto my Instagram, there's more pictures and there's clips of... I'll put a clip up. Probably by the time you see this I'll have a, like, a little reel up the whole day. I wish I had more clips on the camera. We actually didn't take the camera all to the part with the sharks just because there was so much water I didn't want to drop it in. Um, so I wish I had more clips of that but again there'll be pictures on my Instagram, reels on my Instagram. Um, my Instagram is at Charlie Murphy if you're new here. If you're a first time watcher, welcome. Thanks for watching. So I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I um, hope it was informative. Any questions leave them below. I'll answer them no problem. Um, and again it was Daniel Key Adventures that I booked with. I'll leave it down below. And yeah, that's everything as always. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.